Okay everybody, welcome back to Learn With Minecraft Education. Today we're going to be looking at security camera mods. These have been tested working in Minecraft Education and in Bedrock 2. We're going to install them, see how they work, and all the links will be in the description. Okay, so let's look at how we can install this. We're going to MCPEDL, links in the description, and we're going to head up to the top right corner of the screen here. I'm just going to type in security cam. Um, we're going to try and find all the mods relating to security cameras and scroll down, have a look through these. And um, we're looking for a specific one today. Let's go on to the second page, scroll down a little bit. There it is. It's called the Working Security Cameras Lance Furniture Beta. Again, links are in the description for this. So we'll very quickly look at how to install this. I get a lot of questions about how to get through um, to the actual download file itself. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to click the Lance Furniture link verse link there. Click the link to be redirected. We're going to click um, access, free access, and we just wait for it to count down uh, from 30 or something like that. And then it takes us over here. Then we click on the uh, furniture no add link at the bottom of that page. Right click on the download Mac add on file and save it to our uh, computer. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I've actually already downloaded this, so it's coming up with a little one next to it, but that's fine. Now, down in the bottom left here, we're just going to click keep. Um, I do scan these with, a, um, with an antivirus and I, they, they come back as fine for me. Uh, there are a few ads to sit through, uh, but they're not. It doesn't necessarily mean they're harmful, you know, to your computer. Um, at least none that I've scanned have been. Now I'm going to import this now. It opens up Minecraft Education. You notice that mine fails to import simply because it's already installed, but that's fine. We'll just uh, yours will install fine. And we're going to click on play. I'm going to start a new world and show you how to get these security packs, uh, not security packs, these security cameras into your world just so we can see how they work and test them out. So let's uh, start a new world, we'll go to creative and uh, we'll make an infinite world, uh, just makes it a bit simpler. Uh, and then we're going to go to resource packs, there's the Lance Furniture add-on, resource, and then we'll go to the behavior pack too and just make sure both of those are activated uh, to get this working in your game. Now do you make sure you're sticking around please because actually uh, it's uh, not as simple to use as you might think. It took me a little bit of working out. But just before I show you how these work, we're going to have a tip of the week here. I had a few people asking about the agent uh, in my uh, world, and they said, well, I've spawned the agent. How do I get rid of it? Forward slash remove at C. There you go, agent gone. Okay, so that was our tip of the week. Now we're going to jump back into our world now and go press E to go to our inventory. I'm going to get some yellow concrete. I'm going to build some... Uh, little structures that my cameras are going to go onto. I'm going to search camera and we've got our camera monitor and security camera there that we're going to be using today. So let's move forward over towards these cows over here and pop down a few blocks of yellow concrete. Now what I'm doing here is just putting in a few little structures in place uh, to demonstrate how these cameras work. So we'll have a few cameras pointing in different directions, slightly elevated off the ground, and you will see uh, with this arrangement exactly how these security cameras work. So I'm just going to place these down few more over here and then we'll start uh, adding in the cameras so uh, with these cameras you place them down and it just takes them a while, a while to orientate themselves uh, in the right direction and uh, we'll put uh, put another one here you see this one's kind of orientated itself onto nothing which is not what we want surprise me that works actually let's get rid of it um, let's uh, stand pointing the the wall that we want it to place on there we go and it orientates itself fine and we'll place one more. I think that's six, isn't it, in total we've done there? Super. So next, uh, the job is to uh, pop down the monitor, the CCTV monitor. And um, as it says in the description there, we are going to shift click um, to try and detect some cameras. But we're going to shift click this the monitor stand there. So if you look at the little bit of stand where the monitor goes in, um, that's the bit we want to aim to click on. And then once we've detected those, we right click on, on the monitor stand again. And we'll start looking through these different cameras. So if we right click, we cycle through the six different cameras that we've got there, which is pretty awesome. I mean, you can see how it works. It's kind of teleporting us over there. But the other cool thing is that if we then 
uh, walk forward, if we move you know, more than a couple of blocks away from the camera that we're linked to, it teleports us straight back to the um, CCTV monitor, which is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Um, so just remember when you're using this, um, it's shift click on the base of the monitor uh, to pair those cameras. And uh, there's a maximum of 20, as you can see from the screen here, that you can pair up. And um, just a normal, without holding shift to crouch, um, just a normal click in the same place uh, to cycle through those. And when you're up in this mode, you can't place anything, you can't break anything. Um, you're really just observing there. And I think there's a pretty elegant solution to the security camera, uh, the way of uh, doing things in here. Now, also, this, um, this pack does come with some cool kind of office furniture and stuff as well. So we'll place a few of these around so you can see what's going on. We've got MacBooks and um, tables. There's drones and microwaves and sofas and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, if you're going to use the pack for security cameras, uh, you do get these included as well, so it's worth taking a little look. Uh, let's put a few of these in. Let's put the fridge in. Let's pop these down. Uh, let's put a desk down. Oh, that's like a chest of drawers. You can put stuff in that. That's pretty cool. But you can't put the Mac on top of it. A little laptop there. Um, we've got some different desks and chairs. And I've done a furniture mod in the past. So if you want to see some a big selection of different furnitures that you can put in, items of furniture, then make sure you check that out. Uh, but this is just some cool stuff that comes included with the uh, security cameras, which is pretty awesome. So we'll just pop down a load of fridges here. Now, I like how the texture loads. It goes, please wait while we're loading up the texture. That's cool. Uh, a few different colored chairs and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, what else have we got? Do we get like an iMac or something? Or a Mind Mac? <laughs> That's funny. Um, and then, yeah, we can just jump back on these cameras and see the stuff that we've placed everywhere. There's our iMac. So it's a good little resource pack, this one. Uh, we're looking at it today just because of the uh, security cameras, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but some other cool stuff included as well. Um, I think we'll finish up there. I think we'll see how those security cameras work. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to download this pack, link is in the description. Uh, do give the video a like and uh, sub up to the channel uh, for more videos. But I'll see you all later in the week. Oh.